We talked yesterday about the 2016 Bridal Fair. Nearly 50 vendors will be at CenturyLink Center on Sunday. It's everything from fashion to flowers and food like Enzo's Italian, where everything is made from scratch. Owner Enzo Zerlo is with us. It's good to see you. Great Thank to have you, you back. Thank you. Thank you very much. So if we're, th we're thinking about weddings here, and mm -hmm. we'll start there. I know you've got your restaurant, and people love to come in for a romantic dinner, whatever. But with weddings, are we looking at specific sizes or venues? Give us an overview of what you um, can handle. Pretty much, you know, we, we do every kind of venue mm -hmm. any, and every group size, any, anywhere from 10 to 500. Wow. Um, uh, the biggest party that we've ever done was a plated, plated 500 dinner. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, so we can, we can do it all. Uh -huh. Take us into the process, Enzo. When a bride and groom come in, they say, here's our date. Do they start going through the menu or what is it like? Well, first we gotta make sure the date's available. Yeah. You know, that's a, that's a first off. Um, I like to be at the event, so mm -hmm. I don't double book. So it'll be me setting up, me making the I food. Love that. So you actually see the person that's preparing your food for, mm -hmm. the, for the event. And obviously it has my name on it, so I take a lot of pride in that. Mm -hmm. uh, the next thing we would go, uh, over would be the the number of people, the venues. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple venues like hotels that were, you know, they have their own food. You're not allowed to come there. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, I just got on Jocelyn Castle's Let's venue. Let's talk so. about that. Yes. So for 2016, yes. you are an exclusive caterer. For yes, there one of their preferred caterers. Yeah, correct. that's that's got to be a huge feather in your cap. Oh, uh, it was great. You know, I I got very lucky. I did an event that. Uh, a couple of months ago, and they, mm -hmm. they loved the way I set everything up. They mm -hmm. loved my food. They loved the way we cleaned. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, that's a big deal with catering, you know, making sure that the appearance, you know, you start with your eyes and then obviously mm -hmm. you move up to your. Well, you I'm know. glad we're looking at pictures here because the presentation oh, is tremendous. Thank you. Um, every every bit of it, um, whether it's where you where you start or your entree. So in a, addition to weddings, because that's I know with the bridal fair coming up, but then there are other events throughout the year. So I, I imagine you cater other get togethers and some people even like to have stuff done in the home, not necessarily going off site. Can you cater those? Yeah, things? definitely. And that was I was going to mention that as mm -hmm. well. Um, we do we do private events at people's homes, you know, uh -huh. anywhere again from 10 to, you know, whatever, however big the house uh -huh. is. Um, plated dinners, I'll bring in a crew, we'll clean, we'll serve, and you know, we'll wash the dishes at the end after it's done, so you don't have to do yes, that either. Yes, please. Uh, <laughs> and know? then I said in addition to catering, you've got the, the full service restaurant yes. in Florence. How's it going? It is phenomenal. Um, it's overwhelming, it's, it's, it's exciting, it's, mm -hmm. it's a little bit of everything, you know, yeah. stressful. Um, it's just, uh, we're, we're, we're blessed to be as busy as we are. The uh -huh. place has been, the last two, three weeks, we've been Super booked, uh, reservations recommended. Uh -huh. um, yeah, does you know we have 45 minute wait on a Wednesday, which is, you know I've been doing <laughs> this a, a long time. It's a good problem so to have. It is a good problem to have. Uh -huh. It's a great problem to have. But it's a, it's about the food, the service, yes. But then the food, and it's a, Italian cuisine with a flair. Correct. What does that mean to you? Oh uh, well, I kind of mix in a new 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 world. Uh, with the old world mm -hmm. kind of cuisine, um, you know, so your typical meatball appetizer has three different sauces on it, for example, you know, it's not just your straight marinara, mm -hmm. you know, we do a nice little pesto cream sauce and a, a four cheese alfredo sauce with them, mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we'll, we'll spice up the uh, veal, veal salt and buco a little bit with uh, some fresh sage and mm -hmm. uh, asparagus and just, you know, we, we kind of combined the two. So. Mm -hmm. How did you get into cooking? Um, you know, it just, it, it, it I started in my family business back home in New York uh -huh. and uh, started a pizzeria business and just kind of developed the love for food and mm -hmm. playing with it, experimenting. It's kind of like it's kind of like asking an artist how how do you learn how to draw? It mm -hmm. just kind of comes comes with it. So with a lot of cooks in your family. I feel like it must have been well, like you know, growing up. You Italian, were around it too. Yeah, you know, Italian background. You know, first born American, living in a you know speaking uh, Italian in the household. Uh -huh. You know family coming over all the time all we did was eat <laughs> eat and drink wine you know so you know but yeah but that's the authenticity because yeah. we get yes. used to you know like going to some places and it's like sort of kind of like something but for you it's important that it's true yes authentic yes. Italian yeah. um, and, the and you know the it, it's, love it's that. Uh, I'm trying to you know educate some people yes. with a time because what they're used to here in the Midwest uh -huh. I don't want to say Omaha specifically but American Italians taken uh -huh. over the traditional Italian. So people are like, this isn't Italian. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, it really is. It and is. just Americans kind of did their little thing to it uh -huh. and changed it. But so. I think when you add the flair to it, that's where people get excited right. about it yes. too. Where yeah. all of a sudden, like they, okay, I, I want to I be in on this. Yeah. I want to try this. If you said that Wednesday nights 
<laughs> there's already a 45 minute wait on a, on yeah. a re regular weeknight. What does Valentine's Day look like at the restaurant? Well, you know, we're closed on Sundays normally, but uh -huh. we are going to be open for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And I'm already, I have a full seat in already for, you know, the early seat in. Wow. Hoping, hoping to get at least two, maybe a third seat in mm -hmm. there. But, uh, you know, it, it's... It's not a huge. It's not a huge restaurant, so it's, yeah. you know it's, it's perfect for Valentine's Day because it's cozy, it's intimate, mm -hmm. and it's it's inviting. So there's still a few spots left. There in, is still a few in, spots left. In theory, yes. even though we're a month away from Valentine's Day, but this is something <laughs> where a lot of people will wait until Valentine's Day yeah. and then think, oh shoot, what am I gonna do? Like think now so that you can really make it special at Enzo's Italian in Florence. Um, and then back to bridal fair. So if they're coming on Sunday, Enzo, what do you recommend as one of the vendors for brides and grooms so that they can, like the questions that they need to be ready to ask you and the information they already need to have so they can book you then? Um, the date. The date's the mm -hmm. most important. And then the, and then the venue. Mm -hmm. um, those are two most important. Um, and then we will, you know, set up a set up a taste and consultation, mm -hmm. uh, consultation. Sorry, and you know, we'll just go over a budget. We'll mm -hmm. go over how many people it is, right? And kind of just take it from there. Well, you want it to be memorable. You know, sure. I, I got married eight and a half years ago. Our guests still remember the food. Yeah, that's what they still talk yeah. about the food. You yeah. know, they don't they don't remember us having little sparklers that we walked under <laughs> to like create these gorgeous pictures. Nobody cared, but they yeah. loved the food. Yeah. So that's why we say. Um, go with Enzo's Italian because Enzo is there. Um, he's walking you through the process so that it's a pleasure from start to finish. And then if you want to dine tonight on Valentine's Day or when the weather warms up, hit the patio. Yes. That's a popular spot. Um, learn more about the restaurant online at enzositalianomaha.com. Enzo, congratulations you. on your new baby girl. Yes, thank you so and much. And all the success at the restaurant. Perfect. Good thank to you see very you. Much. Well,